let's have a lukey. You got a uh, crikey? Yeah, this is a a project. Yes, well, actually, barn finds. Right. Oh God. Yeah. How long you got that in there? Uh, well, I only just got them probably oh. three, four months ago. <sighs> really? So they're still to be found then? Probably. Oh, they're out there. Yeah. You yeah. Just have you know, people in the right place at the right time to, to get word to you and say, "Oh, yeah, you know, there's found some Volvos. If you're interested, here's yeah. a bloke's number. Give them a call." And, you want to get rid of them, so yeah. Well, welcome to a new Dave's Classic Garage Tours video. And I'm out on a very windy day. Uh, come out to check some, that may look, new Volvos, newish Volvos, plenty of old ones. John's inside waiting. Let's get out of this wind. This time it's an impromptu rock up at Voldat. Volvo specialists in Melbourne South, where I came across not one, but three barn finds. Sorry, no time today to get any cutaways, but I'm sure I'll be back, and once you've watched this one, keep an eye out for part two and a look at that 740 Turbo at a rather special Japanese market, 850R import. Hi okay, John, thanks very much uh, for letting us pop by, or just uh, yeah. rocking up like this, and, no problem. and whatever, but, um, Thanks for giving us the time. This is a, a bit of a rare one, 164. Yes, they're getting a bit of a rare item these days. Yeah. Uh, it used to be dime a dozen once upon a time, and now they're very fast disappearing off the road now. Right. Let's tell us about the spec on that engine. What's the... Uh... So it's a B30, six-cylinder, twin carby. Um, you know, basically a three-litre motor. Yeah, yeah. Um, but, uh, yeah, you could have kept injection as well right the later ones yeah yeah so but this is a twin carby manual so oh, yeah right. quite a rare beast yeah i don't think uh there are so many six cylinders in the uk when i where i'm uh yeah where i hail from yeah you know, i think but, i mean there's plenty there's, of 144s we had yeah oh the, the, the old 164 comes to australia from from the uk yeah we've had a few imports. oh really yeah yeah so um, were they, they they were sold here yeah yeah, yeah. right yeah. but the, the good thing about the uk ones is they had a sunroof a lot oh. of them had sunroofs in which they didn't come here with, ah. it, with sunroofs. Yeah, they come with other issues, surely, from the UK. Or a bit of rust as well, I suppose. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So this, how many miles has this one done? Uh, well, roughly probably, probably kilometres. So it's probably done at least 250, somewhere in there. Oh, it's, kept, it's pretty clean. Yeah. Very one-owner car. Those nets don't, uh, they stand up a bit better than um, W, sorry, W123 nets. Oh was, yeah, well, or, is that, or they've been fixed. No, no, I think they're pretty. Uh, they're pretty stock standard. Oh, just really, bloody hell, they'd be all saggy if they were in a uh, openable. Yeah, should be open. Yeah. Yeah, it'd be a lot saggier than that if it was in an old W one two three Merc. Yeah, it? definitely. But uh, right, so that would have been a prefer. They, why wouldn't they give you that option over here then? In the with the sunroof. sunroof I don't know, it's just bizarre. Like, you, you can always tell a Pommy import because they've all got sunroofs. Oh, right. yeah. So it's uh, interesting yeah. in that regard. And a lot of them were manual overdrive too, which is another right. interesting thing too. This was manual, yeah? This is yeah, manual, yeah, yeah, uh, manual with yeah. an overdrive as well, which is right. pretty desirable, but... Yeah. Any particular issues you're looking out for on these things? No, like no, I mean? just, I got, I'm running out of storage space. So it's just, here's yeah, nice. what I've got there, so. All right. And a reliable old thing. Oh yeah, go forever. Yeah. Yeah, proverbial uh, tractor. Yeah, yeah. But no, they do go well. Yeah, if these are manual form, they're a very quick car. Right, right. Yeah. But they didn't rally a six cylinder. Ah, oh, the, there are people that have rally them. Right. Uh, but they're just a heavy car too, that's the other issue. Yeah. Very yeah. weighty in the front. Right. So that's why people prefer to rally the one the Amazon one yeah, twenties, one forties. Yeah. They'll yeah. yeah. just a bit easier. But a lot of people have done these, they've raced them and uh -huh. stuff as well. Yeah. So because there's a lot of weight there, yeah, yeah. And what's the um, interest in these? Uh, is it growing interest, or do you find, or you know, are, are people are like, crowd bringing them in? It's a styling thing now. Like yeah. People like the styling of them. Absolutely. Yeah, there's something classic about them. A bit of chrome. Yeah. Uh, it's yeah. just the classy looking car, you know. Yeah, absolutely. I think. Yeah. So still it's still like, not many more around there. So much space in there, isn't there? Oh yeah. Yes. A joy to work on. In that yeah. Respect. Yeah. yeah. Much yeah. better. Much yeah. much better. Yeah. 
So you, you deal with the newer cars as well? Oh yes, yeah, we've got the newer yeah. ones in for servicing and stuff like that. Yeah, nothing. That's a Super Tourer. Oh, what? An S40. This? Yeah, Super Tourer. Super Tourer edition. Right. Okay, so that's like... Rare nothing. car as well. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Any a T4, right, okay. Yeah, well, just because of the colouring. Yeah. And everything. So, t sorry, that's a Super Tourer, that's obviously a, a, an a Australian, Australian yeah, sort of. a dealer sort of thing? No, no, it's a Volvo thing. Oh, right, okay. Yeah. Tell us a bit of the yeah, spec on that. Uh, what is it? What is, uh, it? Uh, oh, is that the... That's the five-cylinder. Yeah. Five-cylinder, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, four, no. Is it five? Uh, Mark? I'll oh, get me a guru, mate. <laughs> get, get the guru. So what's the specs on super this tourer. S40? That's being a super tourer. Oh, nothing special. But the motor-wise no. and all that. 200 horsepower. Right. Oh, that's still, still yeah. back in the, 200 on that, back in yeah. 19, uh, what is that? This is 2000. 2000, right, right. okay. But the, the, the whole range is 98. Yeah. To uh, 02. Yeah. But they, they, so they brought them out overseas as well or not? I don't recall the name. No, no, no. I wouldn't say so. I think it's got something to do with the touring car. Touring car, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's, yeah the uh, colour yeah. doesn't stand up to the uh, naming, does it? Is no, it? well, it's, it, it's a sort of. Oh, they come in three different three different uh, colours. Silver, black, and yellow. Yellow, they call. Oh, well, wow. when it when it's in detail, yellow. when it's in <laughs> detail. Vanilla. Right. Yeah, right. Call it vanilla. All right, nice one. Okay, yeah. interesting. It's got the black headlights insert. Oh, right, around there, yeah, yeah. 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 And different wheels. Okay. Interesting. Okay, well, this, this goes beyond my... Um, Black Adder interior. Black Adder? Yeah. Not as in... Not as in... Um, no. Rowan no, Atkinson, no, no, but... Yeah. <laughs> right, okay. <laughs> cool. All right, nice one. Thank you. Right. right, okay. What do we got here? Oh, you've got the old classic 144. Yeah. Uh, the fuel injector one, actually, which is... Sort of a bit of a rare beast. Not many fuel, fuel injector ones have Ooh, survived. Right. Um, they didn't come from the UK with louvers. No, well, that's sort of an Aussie <laughs> thing, I yeah, suppose. De definitely, definitely. Yeah, that's more of a, yeah, for sun yeah. and all that sort of stuff like that. Yeah. But and, sorry, fuel injected is being... This one fuel injected, yep. What year would this be? Uh, it's 72. 72. 72. Oh, right, actually. I know somebody in this US that bought something very similar to this. Yeah. His was rusted out of buggery, though. Well, that's a, that's the thing, you know. But he rust gets them all eventually, but yeah. But Australian cars, that's where probably Australian cars are a bit better yeah. for the yeah. world because um, they don't get that sort of that, that bad rust issue. Sure, like most of them. Yeah. One four four. I think my dad. Yeah, we had a one four five. Yeah, oh, yeah, the wagon. Yep. Yeah, the sky blue. Oh, right. A bit of a toughie. I see these, um, well, actually even earlier ones as well, but the, yeah, when they, they're they styling up and taking the bumpers off and whatever. Yeah. Oh, God, they, some of them have been really deep, you know, the spec oh. on them, they're beautiful. Yeah. And that's and that's with the younger generation are yeah. coming through now, that yeah. they, they're they getting cars like this and, and rebirth, re, yeah. rebirthing, I suppose, in a sure. different aspect. Absolutely. And in some ways, it enhances them cars because yeah. they, you know, they just take the bumpers off, put wheels, yeah. lower them. Absolutely. They put all sorts of weird model engines in them. Yeah, they, yeah. They, they really look like a really good car. Yeah. I suppose this is, uh, I mean, it's still got rust, uh, rust issues, but this over like a E28 or something, well, even before that, they're a lot less sort of problematic uh, car to deal yeah, with, would you say? A lot of people seem to have issues with the fuel injection on you know, different cars. Yeah. They seem to be fairly trouble-free. And what, to be. If you, what injection, would it be a Bosch on it? Yeah, Bosch injection yes, on this yeah. one, yeah. This one's a CI inject, what they call CI injection, continuous injection. Yeah. Other ones have electronic injection. Sure. Like the Mercs. And, yeah, yeah. And, and the Volvo came out with electronic injection as well. Yeah. What's well, that the story, is it? Like Did the Volvo the, have a, a 60s, Volvo have one of the, have like Lucas injection on it or something? Uh, no, or something? they always had sort of Bosch. They went Bosch. Yeah, right. it was almost. They wanted there. early. There was early in electronic injection yeah, right. on those, sort of the 164s and stuff. Yeah. But even still, most of it was all Bosch. Right, Lucas okay. is all the, 
Jags and yeah, all the yeah. stuff that breaks. Well, I saw it on. Yeah. I saw it on a Maserati 1966 Maserati Spider. This this uh, Lucas uh, very early Lucas uh, injection system. Yeah. And I, it, um, I was like, right, I couldn't believe it, it was on a, yeah. know, a British car. And yeah. 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 Well, apparently, yeah. uh, I was reading something about Aston Martin, and apparently they had in fuel injection on them. Yeah, yeah. And they had yeah. that was that much trouble. They pissed it all off and put Webers put back on the cars. Back yeah. On it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Well, that's so what, what's the uh, plans for this one? Is it? I just got to get it going for the customer. Right. Just okay. Oh, what's the fuel, history on it? What's oh, probably a fuel pump or something. Has like been it? sitting around for a while. Or? Yeah, I think it has. Like it, it stopped, and he, he played around with it, tried, couldn't get it going, and. So he wants me. He told you and got trying to ask me to get it going. So yeah. that's how it's working out that way. Right. Okay. Well, long-term ownership. He's had it, or uh, or is it? I think it has. Yeah, yeah. He's had it for a while. Yeah. Not too sure about the uh, the rug on the back seat with yeah, all right. the flowers, yeah. but yeah. Yeah. that's just, just how it is. All right. They're locked up. Yeah, they're locked. Oh, you can probably just go and get the uh, dashboard. Have a look at that. Oh yeah. There we go. Oh, oh. Not your. Uh, Usual kind of um, steering wheel. No, it's a bit of a it's an aftermarket one. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. yeah. There's the people sort of. Oh, it's, in the all the dials, don't they? Yeah. Are they original? Yeah, yeah. Oh wow. Yep. Well, I don't remember that from the back seat. Yeah. Yeah, a little sort of. Oh, I think actually, I think. He's, oh, sorry, the two top, the two top ones are not original. Right. Ones. Okay. Yeah, but all the buttons and everything. Are. Okay. Right and. Let's have a looky. You got a uh, crikey. Yeah, this is a, a project. Yes, well, actually, barn finds. Right. Oh, God. Yeah. How long have you had that in there? Uh, well, I only just got them probably oh. three or four months ago. <sighs> really? So they're still to be found then? Probably. Oh, they're out there. Yeah, you yeah. just have the people in the right place at the right time to, to get word to you and say, oh, we've, you know, there's found some Volvos. If you're interested, here's yeah. the bike's number, give them a call and see if you want, you want to get rid of them. So, yeah. And it's so you make a deal with him. This is yours? Yeah, yeah. The old, right. the old three of Mark, yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. Uh, okay, do you want to... Just talk to Mark there. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Oh, well, you didn't get them all three together. No, no, well, they, the two white ones I got together. Really? And the black one I got from another place in Devon Meadows. But that actually uh, is what they call a B16. The okay. black one. Right. Which is the fir very first batch to come to Australia. Okay. Uh, so back in sixty. 61. 61. 61. Really? Yeah. Really. Your popularity, was it quick to, to rise over here? Or? Uh, no, it wasn't. Wow. Well, I mean, it wasn't still quick. Be... It was, uh, they sort of bought the first batch of, I oh, know, I forget now, probably 15, 18 cars in. Yeah. They were, went up to Sydney. Uh, yeah. This is one of the first batch, one of the first cars to come in. Yeah. Um, and the deal sort of just uh, had them sitting there on, you know, if you like, consignment, I think. And then... They just basically they started putting the advertising out there and, and everything oh, and okay. uh, and then one of the dealers, uh, oh. Regent Motors, yeah. yeah, started selling them. Yeah, and uh, they did. You know, went up to car shows and invited people to come for a drive and took them up to the farms up around Albury and stuff. Uh -huh. and, um, yeah, and then they um, sort of took off from there. I and remember started bringing them in. Yeah, actually. That's yeah, all, I remember. That's all modified yeah, stuff. Yeah, there, but yeah. I remember. I've read about the B16 in the past. Is it like sort of special in the uh, Volvo fraternity? Well, it's a rare car. Like right. it's the very first lot of these to come into, into it's Australia. Just, sorry, just Australian. That badging is just Australian. Is it B16 or or that was a worldwide thing? Oh, it was a worldwide yeah, thing. Yeah. The B16. B16. What they originally the first 120 come out of well, sort of 58, right. 59. Yeah. Sort of the very first Amazons. They call them Amazons. Yes. Overseas. Yeah. Here they just call them the one one twenty series or something like that. Right. That's a, obviously the wrong badge in the back of that, but right. Um, but uh, yeah, so when they come here, they were sort of a little bit unknown car. Right. But as in rally circles, racing circles, they were the bees knees. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah they absolutely. really were a good car, little car, and they still are. Okay. And this one's a sixty three. Sixty three and an S. What did that uh, denote yeah. in the way of what did you get? Oh, twin carby. Yeah, uh, basically that was about it, really. Right, okay. <laughs>
level of snow. That just looks like it's come off the uh, Dakar Rally, this one. It's done. Yeah. I like the bloody dirt on it. Uh, the patina. Yeah. All <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh, right. Yeah, everyone likes patina. Yeah. So what, the uh, what's the plans for one, two, three of these then? Oh, well, basically the black one, I'll, I want to sort of put it back on the road again as a, yeah, as a... Yeah. As a, for you? For myself, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I bought it for myself as a restorer. Right. One of the... I've got, 20 odd cars, right? So okay, yeah, as you do, yeah, yeah. And the other two, well, if anyone wants a restoration project, well, All right. there they are. There yeah. you go, there you go. They're sort of too good to wreck these days, yep. right? Absolutely, yeah. Nothing's broken yeah, now, you, is you it? You can't, um, so how long have yeah. you been in this game then? Uh, uh come over here so we people can see that as well, so. yeah. Uh, basically, uh, I started when I was 17 as an apprentice at the dealer on Volvos, yep. Oh, wow, well, yeah, yeah. So, did me four years as an apprentice. So you were not around right when they started, but no, um, no. <laughs> sort of when the basic in the early 240s were you know, oh, common yeah. and the 264s yeah. and all that were common cars. Yeah, yeah. And then the first, the seven series, yeah. started coming through and stuff. So, right. um, so that was 21, so 40, 45 years basically. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Yeah. And when, how long have you been out on your own? Uh, probably 35. Right. Uh, 36. Okay. Yeah. And there's, you're always busy. Mm. Oh, yeah. Out. yeah. 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 And is it you're known particularly f in Melbourne area for for a the shoulder? Right. Well, yeah, yeah. obviously, yeah. Because I, I deal in all the old stuff as well. Yeah. So people want parts for all the cars. So yeah. I've accumulated. You've accumulated, but um, stuff over the Let years. me ask you: Is there um, plenty of stuff you chucked away in the past? You think, damn, I needed. I should have kept hold of that nut or bolt or whatever. Well, well, is that yeah. yes, and probably cars. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, cars, as you said, the 240s were common as Absolutely. dirt. Yeah. And you just wheel them in and pull the bits out of them and wreck them and this yeah. and that. Yeah. Now they're getting, you know, yeah, drug money for some of them, you know. Yeah, yeah, no, it's, it's just the way it is. So all this old stuff, now you just got to hang on to. And, yeah, you, know, you can't be Because you don't, you don't have, it's necessarily sell it here, you sell it overseas. Right. Because right. the overseas market's drying up as well for yeah. certain stuff. Are they aware, it's like, you always want, wanted a Californian car in the past. Are they look at as the overseas market looking at Australian cars because they know there's going is to be it, a... yeah because they're usually rust free yeah you know, things like that that we had options that none of the other cars got overseas right yeah, but so. they did they are they do come at a premium in Aussie car though many many uh, sort of uh, they, they they see you know, the prices are hold, held a lot stronger than yeah um, you, it's sort of yeah you look you, you quote the prices of the English cars. To here and all that sort of stuff. But like probably that. Get, you know, less work to do on them to yeah. get them up to, you know, they, yeah. there's less you know, rust. Well, the thing is, I, I, it, a lot of people will buy our cars. Yeah. Because I think our trades people are probably better in some aspects. So yeah. the cars wouldn't have restored, they're actually yeah. really restored well. Yeah. And then, you know, whereas people buy know, American cars and stuff and get them restored there and sure. then they're not so good, but here, yeah. and then, so they come here, buy them, and then take them back again. Is it, you know, a trait of that, you know, having to get engineered and what have you, they, um, cars to, to pass roadworthy, and if you, you know, getting fixed up and whatever, because it's, it's, there's more stringent laws around what gets a yeah, true. ticket and whatever. I suppose, yeah, yeah, because that comes in. Because it keeps, it keeps the yeah. skills level up. And, well, and is that, and also the cars are a good level of, yeah. of safety too, because. Yeah. Overseas, they don't bother. Once your car's registered, it's, you never yeah. see it again. It's just yeah. keeps driving until it falls in a heap. Whereas yeah. here, every time you sell it, or New South, South, or New South Wales, they get, uh, yeah. Yeah, get checked every I'm four just, months. You're sorry, you're seeing me taken by the R on the back of that 850. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 850 R. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Okay. There are another, there are another car that's gone through the roof. Absolutely. Now. Yeah. 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 The touring. That's the t uh, touring car, wasn't it? Back yep. in that season, yeah. back in the UK. Yep. Did it? Did it didn't go touring over here, did it? Yep. Oh, did it? Oh, really? They yeah. use the... Yeah, they have the A50 R racing around here. For the estate? Yep. Oh, not the estate. Sorry. Oh, right. It's, yeah, it's yeah, a, yeah, that's that British yeah. thing, yeah. wasn't it? Yeah. Oh, right. Cool. Yeah, cool. yeah this is the A50 R sedans running around with Brocky yeah. and Jimmy Richards oh, and all right. that. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He went yeah. under that. Jimmy Richards yeah, that. and all that. Yeah. Morris not giving away either. Jim Richards has got him on pitch straight before he's going to have to work hard for it. Look at Morris all over him as they come through McPhillamy Park. That's going to be slowing Jim down slowly too. He's going to have to fend off Morris here. Yeah, it's also allowed Brad Jones to close right up onto the back of Morris's car now. But equally, Morris is going to have to watch what Brad does to him though. That's going to maybe give Jim a bit of a chance to get away. So, breaking hard for Forrest Elbow. Good clean run onto Conrod Strait. 
Yeah. Now the Volvo should pull away here. Is there much difference in technique required, John, when you're driving a front-wheel drive car compared to a rear-wheel drive car? Yes, with a front-wheel drive car, you have to be very delicate. You have to drive it with your fingertips and be very neat and tidy because with 300 brake horsepower and 9-inch wide tires, you really have to be precise or you just screw all the speed off the car and it just goes nowhere. The thing that impresses me about these cars is... Uh, they get Monza at the World Cup, they recorded 175 mile an hour on the main straight. That's right. car with just 300 horsepower, 1,000 kilos. It just shows the potency of a good power to weight ratio package. Right. Yeah. And then they went racing with the S40, that's where the Super yeah. Tourer comes from. Uh -huh. So Jimmy Richards was racing that, but the A50R, that's a wrecker unfortunately, he got hit in the front. Oh right, okay. okay. So, I mean, there's always a few good bits on them, but yeah. Sure, sure. We'll move on. So how long is this going to take? Oh. Oh. I, I put it this way, I've got a few in line before, yeah. A few other of your cars in line? Yeah, before. Oh, right. yeah, all yeah. Volvos? Or yeah, 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 all, 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 yeah. all 20 cars? Yeah, I actually got a 59 Chev. Right, okay. Which is my grandmother's car. Right, okay. Which I inherited that, but yeah. yeah. But all the rest of Volvos. And right. I've, I've collected all the rare cars over the years, so yeah. 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 All the rare Volvos. I've so uh, we haven't, so you were just saying before, got the camera ready, if I'd have turned up yesterday, we'd have had a P1800. Yeah. To, uh, are there many of those around in Australia? Yeah, there's, well, there's, there's a guy who's done a register of them. He's, he's done a register of about 300, right. 350, and maybe. Many ESs as well? ESs. There's a couple of private imports. I've got one around the corner there. Yeah. I've actually got two around the corner there, private imports. There's probably, well, there was originally about 50 or 60 of those come to Australia. Oh, really? Yeah. 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 Oh, beautiful car, that one. Yes. Yeah, I had an ES in here and I had a, an S in here, so right. if you come last week, you would have seen it. Well, seen it. now you've uh, opened, the, um, opened the gates to me. Yeah. I'm often driving past, well, in, yep. in the vicinity. And uh, so, yeah, get all these parts and that. It's all kind of come in handy one day, yeah? Oh, one, it's always one Hopefully. day. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Who knows? It just, sometimes, you know, some, yeah, who knows? Someone from England will say, yeah. I've got a container, just fill up with all the old stuff yeah, and yeah. send it over. Right. Is that, because I was talking to somebody about that the other day, I was like, you know, because he was saying, you know, got so many parts and yeah. whatever. Uh, surely putting a container full of bloody doors, uh, untouched doors over well, here. I was talking to a Peugeot guy, 504, 404. He said there's, there's a bloke over in Saudi or somewhere. Yeah. And they just, there's a container, just fill up with everything you can find. All right. Because they're yeah. still using as taxis and stuff yeah, over yeah, there. So, yeah. yeah, I've got heaps of doors and. Yeah. Yeah. I said all for the early stuff. Yeah. yeah. All right. So I've okay. accumulated all the stuff. Really. All right, mate. Well, you've got a customer. Thank you very much for letting us in. And I'll uh, yeah, yeah. see you around. Well, well I've got me, um, let me shed done at home because I'm building a big shed at home. Right. Okay. I'm setting it all up. Yeah, yeah. I should come down and have a look. That'd be lovely. Cheers, buddy. All Thanks right. very much for Thanks time. for your time. Thanks. Thanks. How are you? Well, that wasn't quite all. John still found time to show me a few other gems outside, including this Japanese import 850R that's got all sorts of goodies waiting to be added. So make sure you don't miss out by subscribing, hit that notification bell, and let other classic fans know by sharing this video. And thanks for your time.